Ray, this is Chuck, and uh, right here I got the static uh, generator just like sitting there touching it. Because I wanted to give you guys a good understanding of how uh, you know, it should act once it gets up to the right amount of height. Any kind of plate like this. It doesn't even have to be made of brass or as this you know symbol is. Just to have a certain shape. So here's the uh, spark gap right there. And what I did, I uh, now that we've got our spark gap right in the right place, we can move it over and change the frequency. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get it to go a little faster. And what I'm doing is, the bottom of this symbol, there's nothing, you know, touching it or nothing. So, but what it is is, is if I put my foot on there, you can hear the electricity go up. See, because it's not even grounded. See, this was grounded to the earth, right? Obviously, it's going to be a lot more. Now, I'm going to try to make it go a little faster. You just ease it in a little bit. Come on, baby. Yeah, now you can see it's a higher frequency. It may seem less loud. That's just because it's a higher frequency. So that's, I'd say that's around 50, 60 hertz or something. Somewhere in that range. So what I'm going to try next to do now is... I was just going to show you the setup. This is like an old rolling, uh, you know, step-down transformer. It's an AC adapter. Puts out 9 volt DC when the input is... Uh, 120 volts AC. Alright, so I'm going to hook all some of this stuff up and show you what's going down. Peace.